Hello, and welcome to Introduction to Cognitive Psychology. The field of cognitive psychology focuses on the mental operations that allow humans to learn, to think, to act, and to communicate. It includes topics such as perception, attention, memory, language, and thinking. Cognitive psychology is at the very core of all contemporary psychology, and I think you'll find it to be a very interesting topic. This version of Introduction to Cognitive Psychology is a hybrid course that combines online and face-to-face -face activities. I created this hybrid version because I was dissatisfied with having 200 students in a huge lecture hall just sitting there listening passively while I lectured at the front of the room. That's just not a good way to learn. Over time, classes at UC Davis and at universities around the country have gotten bigger and bigger, while at the same time, tuition has gotten higher and higher. That's just not right. And there's tons of evidence that this kind of teaching doesn't really promote good learning. UC Davis is trying to do something about this by encouraging faculty to use new technologies in teaching that will allow us to improve the quality of undergraduate education. In particular, they're encouraging the development of hybrid courses, which combine online learning with face-to-face -face learning. The university provided me with a small grant to convert my course from a traditional big lecture class into this kind of hybrid course. They also offered a 10-week workshop that I attended so that I could learn how to design and produce a hybrid course. I spent two years putting this hybrid version of Psych 100 together, and I think the new format is a big improvement. Instead of coming to four hours of live lecture each week in a lecture hall with 200 students and no opportunity for discussion, you'll watch online videos of the lectures and then meet once a week in groups of 25 students for small group discussions. The small group discussions add a lot to the course, and they're not something I could do with 200 students in the traditional version. Because the lectures are all pre-recorded, I can spend my time in small group discussions rather than in a giant lecture hall. Also, there are a lot of things I can do in an online lecture that I can't do in a lecture hall. For example, when we talk about perception, we'll take a field trip to my kitchen so that we can use real objects like this blender as examples of perception. We'll also spend some time in my kitchen talking about how each hemisphere of the cerebral cortex is like a sheet of pizza dough. Also, the lectures will be divided up into segments of about five minutes, which makes it easier for you to pay attention and you'll get a comprehension question at the end of each of those lecture segments. Research by cognitive psychologists shows that answering questions like these can help you to retain the information you've learned and do better on exams. Most importantly, because I won't be spending my time giving the same live lectures every year, I'll have time to lead small group discussions. I'm hoping that I'll actually get to know many of you, which never happened when I taught lectures to 200 students at a time. I've found that most students like this new format much better than a traditional lecture format. The combination of short lecture videos and frequent quizzing leads students to learn the lecture material much better, leading to significantly higher exam scores and better grades. And the discussion sections make it possible for you to learn things that I could never even hope to teach in a traditional lecture course. I hope you like this course, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the first week of the quarter.